Raider Nation, what's going on? You guys are watching the Raiders board. Coming up here, we're going to get into a mailbag. So I want you to start using hashtag Raiders. Or you can super chat and make sure you're subscribed. Join me on Tuesday for my Raiders live show. And I go live every single Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. This first one's coming in from Wolf Claw. How about the refs? Who's really controlling the clock? Raiders lose the week fourth quarter defense. Give nothing, take all. I thought the refs were a little bit too touchy in today's game. I kind of always like when they let them play. But in terms of the Raiders in this Cowboys game, both teams had a lot of penalties. But usually I'm F the refs. Usually the Raiders get the short end of the stick. I thought the Raiders actually got a lot of calls in their, uh, in their benefit today. Let's go to Thad Mech. Thoughts on the aggressiveness at the end of the half and at the end to even try to get in the field goal range. But let's go Raiders. Sure, you always try to go for a touchdown, but I think with the Raiders going for that 29-yard field goal, they were confident in Daniel Carlson. Five for five, he had himself a heck of a game. Let's go to Dylan Thorne. You must be a Dallas Cowboys fan deep down. Not a Cowboy fan at all. I think only people that call me Cowboy fans are people who are either jealous of the show that I got, either have no idea what I'm about or don't watch the show. So, uh, Dylan, sounds like maybe you're a Cowboy fan deep down. Let's go to Wild on 14. It appears it was all about the return of the deep threat, which we were lacking the past three weeks. Huh. Go figure. If only we had been talking about the Raiders using Deshaun Jackson more. That would have been totally different, but I agree, man. The, the Raiders were able to stretch the ball down the field. Jackson, three catches, 102 yards, and a touchdown. Let's go to Jack Cooper. Does Darren Waller want the Raiders to get rid of Derek Carr? So there was a rumor going around earlier in the week about the Raiders and Carr, or about Carr and Waller having a disagreement, them not getting along, and that Waller literally told the organization, hey, it's either me or it's D.C. I've actually talked to a Raiders player inside the, inside the locker room and he said it was totally false. It's not true whatsoever. Now, Waller left today's game early with an E injury. Hopefully, he's okay. But from what I know, this is a lie. Maybe we get more information on it. But, hey, the easiest way to find out is by subscribing, by staying up to date on everything going on around the silver and black. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that big red button underneath the video. And if you are one of our 97,000 subs, take YouTube.com slash Raiders Report link. Send it to a friend. Send it to some Raider fans. Send it to a family member. The more subs we get, the more videos we do. Heck, I hope there's a day where all I do here at Chat Sports is only make Raiders videos. Let's go to Wet Entertainment. Shout out for the $1 Super Chat. You want to see Wet Entertainment? That's how I feel after today's game. Let's go to Ray Rivera. Where's your girl with the Raiders jersey? You won the bet. Oh, she's going to have to wear a Raiders jersey. No doubt about it. Uh, today, So today when I'm filming this is actually Thanksgiving. She's with her family. Obviously, I'm going to let her spend time with her family on Thanksgiving, but can't wait to see you, babe. Can't wait to see you. Let's go to Alex Thompson. Lost by a missed extra point and went for two on a penalty. Laugh out loud. You're right. So the Cowboys had a lot of special teams blunders today where they missed an extra point early on. It was 7-6. to six. And then there was one point. It was 24-19. to 19. Cowboys kicked an extra point, made it 24-20. to 20. And then there was a penalty against them. They went for two. They didn't get it. 24-19. The Cowboys had opportunities to win this game, but the Raiders were still were able to come away with the victory. They're now 6-5, and five, and I'm okay with that. Let's go to X-Wing. Even with the win for tonight, is Carr still in the hot seat? Yes. And what quarterback would be a perfect for the Raiders in the upcoming draft? Carr is always on the hot seat, even if he's winning games. The Raiders were 5-2, and two, and I still think people were putting Carr on the hot seat. So he's still got to win. Raiders got to finish this season out strong because if you don't, you're going to hear the Boo Birds come out again. In terms of the best quarterback in the draft, I don't have a lot of confidence in any of the guys taking first-round dudes. I've said for a long time, I want Carr to be the quarterback next season, and then after his 2023 season, his contract is up, and then you let him go. Let's go to Juicehead. Where are them haters at? Let's go. If DC's your quarterback, if you're proud of his performance against the Cowboys, I want you to go ahead and spam DC down in the comments. Let's go to the next one coming in here from Hydro, PSNX. Abram had a great game. Hashtag Raiders. I was impressed by Jonathan Abram against the Cowboys. He definitely had one misread where Corey Littleton definitely laid into him a little bit. But Abram made a few really clutch tackles. I thought he was on top of his game. But I also think that goes back to Gus Bradley putting him in the right situations and not putting him in coverage. If you put Abram in coverage, you're going to get burned. The only player that I thought was bad in coverage today, like really bad, was Brandon Faison. Casey Hayward struggled as well. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's just going to happen. Let's go to future Ron. Would you rather have Cam Newton or Derek Carr next season? Definitely takes a lot of balls to ask this question. I get it. 
Newton's been a fun story. Newton's a mobile quarterback, but it's Derek Carr to me, and it's really not even close. I get that, you know, people are going to rip on D.C. People want a mobile quarterback, but I actually think that Mariota and Cam Newton are pretty close in terms of overall value. But you know what? I wouldn't be able to do my thing around here. I wouldn't be able to do my job if it wasn't for the nation. So get your votes in. If you had to pick a quarterback, CN for Cam Newton, DC for Derek Carr. I better be. I better see 1,000 DCs down in the comments. Now, if you want to bet on the Raiders the entire season, there's one place to do it and one place only. We got to win against Cowboys. We're back, baby. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders promo code. Raiders 125, it's going to get you 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean? If you put down $100, you're going to get $125 for free. So look no further. Get the best deal on the internet. Chatsports.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders 125. Let's go to Raider 45, NVR, look, BK. Just one baby, but still need to make more aggressive play calling. The play calling by Olsen, the play calling overall by the Raiders today, I thought was pretty piss poor if I'm being 100% honest with you I know they put up 36 points but it's because the Cowboys had so many penalties pretty bad play calling though especially in the red zone and not having confidence in your offense at the end of the first half and at the end of the second half luckily got the win still let's go to Aiden Carlson the MVP a lot of people were giving Daniel Carlson the MVP and the Raiders week 12 win over the Cowboys I mean he made all five of his field goals he was clutch, made the game winner. Carlson definitely deserves to be up in that MVP discussion. Type DC. Let's go to Adam. Everybody stepped up today, which was a must. But how consistent do you think this team is? Beat the good teams, get killed by crappy teams. Shake my head. Cowboys are a good team. They're going to end up making the playoffs. They're 7-4. They're probably going to win their division. But I'm kind of with you. I have yet to be able to figure out why the Raiders can't respond every single game. But sometimes you just got to have your back up against the wall and respond, which the Raiders did today. Let's go to Big Daddy Raider 69. Told you one win would help turn the ship around. Man, you're uh, you're not lying. Ship was uh, ship's real and the ship's sailing yet again. Let's go to Wild on 14. What is your opinion of our offensive line? Uh, to me, they struggled again and penalized important situations. Is it me a concern? Your thoughts? The offensive line struggled today. The offensive line, in terms of being able to run block, really bad. Today was Brandon Parker's worst game. And it wasn't even close. I mean, he had to have, what, three, four penalties against them. Gave up at least a sack or two. Brandon Parker's your weakest link on the offensive line. And I know people want to talk about the QB position. You got to draft it. You got to find a right tackle, man. Because if you keep having a right tackle like Parker or like Leatherwood early on, it's going to be a disaster. But Leatherwood has been much better since moving to guard. What do you guys think about this question? Should the Raiders start Marcus Mariota week 13 versus Washington football team? I'm doing this to troll you guys a little bit because... Carr played well, and the conversation all week, start Mariota, start Mariota, start Mariota. So, where you at? Where you at? Let's go. Where you at? I, I want to hear you. I, I told you all we wanted to see more out of Mariota. He had a rush touchdown today. No, you keep starting Derek Carr. So, if you see anybody saying, oh, put in Mariota, start Mariota, show him this. Show him this. Type your end for no, because he shouldn't be starting. Let's go to Seth Laws. I loved our run D. Our run defense played great today. Now, sure, it might have been a little bit different if there there was one run with, like, Tony Pollard, he had, like, a 40-yard pickup, and that got taken back. But the run defense against Dallas, man, they stepped up. The Cowboys were the number one offense in all of football coming into today's game, and the Raiders still got a win. Credit to them. Let's go to Derek. I think Carr needs to hit. Needs hand surgery. He's been dropping dimes. At first, I was like, what the heck is going on? That was – uh. Funny, but yes, he, he had a great game today. A lot of pass interference calls and throwing the ball deep, big time. Let's go to Ninja Muffin 99. Who do you think showed their selves today? I think the top five MVPs in the game against the Cowboys was Daniel Carlson, Derek Carr, Deshaun Jackson, Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro. Those are your top five players. Thought all those guys were able to step up. All those guys made some clutch plays when it mattered the most. And even Zay Jones. Zay Jones made a few really, really key plays in that game today, especially in the fourth quarter in overtime. Let's go to Nojo Domenis. Can Derek Carr be back in the MVP conversation? No. Derek Carr will not win MVP, unfortunately, unless the Raiders win out and he just puts up some, like, stupid numbers. And I mean stupid, stupid good numbers because he's been okay, but when you really think of some of these other quarterbacks in the MVP discussion – 
I love Carr, but no, he, he's not in it at this point. Now, guys, if I don't get to your question here on today's mailbag, make sure you hit me up on IG, at MitchellRens365. And for those of you that are still watching this live, we did get over $1,000 in Super Chats, and I told you at the very end of today's show that I would get pied in the face if we hit 1000 So my dad, he's got the pie over there. Once we get to today's end of this mailbag, yeah, I'm going to get pied in the face. Got uh, one coming in here from Tony Collins. Let's go. Happy Thanksgiving, Nation. I do want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there, everyone spending time with their families, and hopefully you guys had some good food on, uh, on Thursday. Let's go to Luis. From here on out, Mariota every time we get in the red zone. No. I just think you can't play scared once you get in the red zone. Like What I don't get is the Raiders did such a good job moving the ball through the air, moving the ball through the air. And then they get to the red zone, and you run the ball. Like, And I get what you want to try to do, but you got to stay aggressive. And I really think that Rich Passaccia and Greg Olson are play calling, whoever's doing the play calling, with their tail between their legs. It's time to sack up a little bit. Let's go to Tommy Mucky. How confident are you in us making the playoffs 1 to 100? I'd probably say 40. Because as it stands right now, according to the latest NFL playoff picture, and remember, when I'm recording this, the Bills game is going on. So if the Bills win, they go to 7 and 4. And uh, they're going to be over, the, or they're going to be tied with the Patriots, I believe. It's just there's a lot of good teams in the AFC. You lost to the Bengals, so you don't have the tiebreaker there. You basically need people to lose because you don't hold the tiebreaker against the Chiefs. You don't hold the tiebreaker against the Chargers. You need people to lose in order to get into the playoffs. Let's go to Aaron Gillian. Appreciate the super chat. No question. Thanks for always doing content, even on holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, Mitch. Go Raiders. I love my job. I'm here for the nation, and I'm glad you guys appreciate it. Let's go to Steven. Here sitting in the line to get out of AT&T, Waller. From everything I've heard so far, again, I'm recording this on Thursday, Waller knee injury. Hopefully he's going to be okay, but uh, definitely concerning the fact that he was unable to come back into the game. Another $1 Super Chat from Wet Entertainment. I don't know what Wet Entertainment looks like, but maybe it's a pie in the face. Either way, if you guys made it this far in the video, make sure you subscribe. Tune into the Raider Sport free videos every single day. I'm going to be live on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. Was well, super proud of this team to get a win in a game that nobody, and I mean nobody, thought was even kind of possible.